we're going to continue talking about figures of speech and how it might make a book more interesting. And today we're going to be talking about idioms and we're going to complete a worksheet on idioms. Even if you think you don't know what they are, I bet you do. All right, listening ears on. All right, Ms. Harold's going to help us out. So, I'm going to read some of these slides to you. It says, speak your mind and say what you really feel. A piece of cake is very easy, so... Give it a shot means give it a try. If you say, that slipped my mind, that means I forgot. If you say, cross your fingers, that means for good luck. someone says you're in hot water that means you're in trouble we're gonna listen we're gonna read a few more oh I say this one all the time it costs an arm and a leg means it was expensive if maybe you've heard mom or dad if you say oh I really want that new video game and they say it costs an arm and a leg that just means wow that's really expensive let's look at another one It's in the bag means it's a certainty. This is another common one. If you get cold feet, it means that you're nervous. So a lot of times, I know you guys might not have heard this before, but if someone's getting married and they say, oh, do you have cold feet or don't get cold feet, that means, oh no, I'm really nervous, okay? So it doesn't mean you actually have cold feet. It just means that you're nervous. So those are idioms. We're going to listen to another Jan Brett story today called The Mitten, and then we're going to talk about the worksheet that you're going to complete on idioms. So listening ears on. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first his grandmother Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. 
The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in, also the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Oh goodness. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mitten. Wow, that mitten was much bigger than the other one because all of those animals shoved in it. Wow. So we're going to complete the worksheet on idioms today. So you're going to be able to drag these words up to the top to make a sentence. Then you're going to copy the sentence in your very best handwriting. And then I want you to draw a picture of your work. So you can drag these up into the boxes to complete a sentence. Write the sentence super, super neat. Make sure you've edited and revised your sentence and then draw a picture of your sentence. That sounds easy to me. Then we want to you to record yourself using your, record, your microphone tool. And it says, if you could write your own idiom, what would it be? So you can make up your own idiom. Remember, one was cold feet, which means nervous.